our data science platforms, the data science technology we are relying on now in digital transformation initiatives um, as part of digital technology adoption, as part of driving data intelligence as a major um, part of how we operate our business for both manual, human-based decision-making and autonomous decision-making that we haven't talked about today, but that relates to everything we've talked about today. Um, so we've, we've described the components individually and the process, algorithms, models, training. Uh, is this how data science systems will continue to operate or is model training going to change? Are there new ways that this will be carried out, new technology on the horizon that will make this better? So, uh, yeah, again, uh, as I think it's the trait of human beings that we all evolve and we're always trying to do things uh, uh, in, a, in a better way as time passes by. So, yeah, same goes for uh, the business of machine learning, uh, the, uh, training the machine learning models. So, again, it, th that concept has been there for quite some time now so it, that, that's why i it, ask because this is nothing new everything we've yeah. just discussed today has been around for a long time and is being surrounded by much more modern technology sophisticated technology innovations and um and i'm just curious if there is activity if if you're aware of a new generation of data science technology that might be in development that will supersede this and perhaps resolve some of the um, the common problems we have. We, we haven't talked about you know things like data bias and using bad input data and you know accuracy that much today, but uh, a lot of that relates to how despite our best efforts, everything we discussed today can fail. And um, and also the, the process of training, uh, it, it's straightforward, but it, it's, it's quite primitive in terms of the steps that you undergo. Um, I'm just curious, based on any insight you might have as to whether there is some new generation of data science technology that will take this a step further. So, yeah, I think uh, in terms of like, looking ahead so uh, there are some concepts some research within the areas of like kind of like self-learning whereby the algorithm would then let's say you uh, you have got like 100 set of examples so rather than you teaching the algorithm what is what is good what's bad let's say the the algorithm would itself let's say take half of the data and then compare it against the rest of the data and it would try to fully automate uh probably automate is not the right word here but it would try to bring that intelligence so rather than you coming up with those annotated examples of what's good and bad it can even do the annotation itself whereby uh, based on some comparison of uh half of like uh, two halves of the data set and then comparing one half with the other one and trying to fully understand itself that whether this fish is a salmon or it's a tuna or whatever because that, that's one of the challenges with uh machine learning uh, the the actual model training here that you need to have good training data but getting enough and good amount of training data is a problem in its own right so if i understood that correctly wajit with self-learning and a more sophisticated type of training process that that is um, in development or is coming our way more of the upfront processing will will occur um, with the algorithm before it begins shaping the uh, data structure of the model uh, not 
really it, it would be part of the let's say the uh, the our current classical training so it would be part of that process itself so uh, in terms of like so still uh, these two work together <clears throat> they're they're part oh, yeah, of, of the same environment but yeah, yeah. the the algorithm itself there's a new generation of algorithms that will be capable of that will, will not just exist as static formulas but that will have logic built into them um I think it's again very uh, hard to say exactly how they would work because again a lot of that work is um, within like research area. So it's it's in terms of again the basics of algorithm are like yeah it's just formula let's say. Yeah, just I should refer you... to it as the algorithm component. I guess you know that yeah. that that, yeah. that part of the system. <laughs> yeah, that system, yes. that is based on a formula. But what but what you're saying is that. That part of the system, there may be improvements to it, mm. to, for for it to do more processing in support of improving the data structure. Uh, yeah. So in terms of getting to that train model, uh, in other words, the human involvement would get lesser and lesser. Put it this way. So mm. you, you just need to introduce it to a data set, and then it would do the even the the, the current manual part of annotating the data set like this is this is good this is bad Understood. that in itself would get fully automated and then it's the other areas of like uh, uh, distributed training uh, whereby you can just you know rather than doing it on a single machine it's when you have got again within the realms of big data so that 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 is kind of already happening it's just that now we need to like the, the support for <clears throat> uh, certain algorithms exists, but uh, the current library of like, you know, whatever you can do on your machine and then trying to do, use the same algorithm and do it in a distributed fashion, that support is not 100% there for all the algorithms and not all the algorithms, they, they are amenable to distributed form of training. But that's, and then let's say the quantum computing so that will bring down our, even if we stick to our current way of training, that can bring down the training from even uh, in terms of like years down to days when, okay. once we have our com quantum computers. So yeah, some something really exciting to look forward to. Yeah, and a great topic for a future <laughs> discussion with oh, you. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I'd love to get into quantum computing. Um, so great, I, Wajid, thank you so much for your time today. I know we went a bit over, but I found this extremely enlightening because uh, so many people I speak with, I work with, they understand data science, but when you ask about what lies behind some of these moving parts in a data science system, uh, there's often little understanding of that. And I think that having some conceptual understanding of that is useful to every IT and business professional right now because this has become so important to business operations worldwide. It's it's a core part of how we are automating business and we need to understand it and we need to understand how it might be evolving because that will also impact how we can position it and use it moving forward. So. Washi, thank you again and look forward to speaking with you again soon. Yeah, my, my pleasure. And yeah, definitely have another round. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.